What is going on, friends, and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today, we are on the server Zetacraft. We're playing on an SMP. Uh, it's just started up today. This is the Spawn Islands, and we've got a really interesting feature for this season. This season is going to be played on the floating islands. Now, this is going to be really interesting. It's definitely going to lead to a lot of really fun things. Uh, you can see we've already got some... Some player heads on armor stands going right here. This is right at the spawn chunks right here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, collect up some wood just to get going. And then we are going to start heading towards our island. Got it. The world generation of this is just absolutely crazy. We have a full like axolotl pond here. Just on the surface. I swear. Oh yeah, there they all are bunch of axolotls and then right over here you know we've got some dripstone some not dripstone but some glowberries lava pouring off this stuff is just crazy what's up man how you doing oh you know i just ran about three thousand blocks that direction to get a carrot from a village so what you're telling me is that you've already made bridges all that direction uh, most of the way you should be able to follow, if you're trying to get to that village, you should be able to follow the bridges. I don't know if it's going to be the same village, but the island that I'm heading to is that way. I've been slowly making my way from spawn for the last couple hours. Have you built something in creative near that village? Yes. Like a castle structure? Yes. Then yes. I didn't steal any of your villagers. Oh no, that's I completely stole fine. I carrots and then I planted some carrots and then I dipped. Hearing that there's bridges pretty much the whole way there is probably the best thing I've heard. <laughs> that was the first village I could find on the creative server, and I was like, damn, somebody's building next to it? I was like, this is not good. I was like, but I'm just going to run and steal a couple carrots and then leave. That is honestly best case scenario for me. <laughs> so um, I did use a water bucket a little bit and climb awkwardly because of those things. But yes, there's mostly bridges that direction to... Heck yeah. That village. You are the, actually, I think you're the, you're the first person I've seen so far. Yeah, I was very surprised when I saw you just now leap down. <laughs> I did a lot of those and I was like, who is out here? So we just ran into boss builds as we're making our way out here. He actually went out to the village that's near our base uh, already to get some stuff from the carrots, things like that from the village. Uh, but what that means is that we've basically got bridges the entire way to get there. Oh my god, that is so many mobs. Alright, I'm not positive uh, because, you know, this world's kind of chaotic and hard to tell, hard to differentiate some things apart. I think that right there is my island. I'm pretty sure. Just, you know, I've got the, the coordinates up in the top cor corner here. Based off the coordinates, I think that's my island. We're just not spawning in the rest of it yet, so it looks a bit different. Ooh, yeah, there's a bridge right there. I'd say that's the one. So our island that we've claimed has a village, which is going to be super nice. Uh, because I'm going to work with the villagers, especially probably stonemasons, things like that this season. Uh, we, we've got a pretty chaotic world. It's going to be difficult to get a lot of blocks. So, of course, uh, there's some ocean monuments, things like that. I know people will be farming blocks out of. Uh, but I think we're going to go the villager route to get blocks, which means we're going to need to get lots and lots of emeralds. So I think our first episodes here, uh, of course, you know, a lot of this first episode, and by a lot, I've probably cut it down to uh, just the first couple minutes, uh, is just getting out to our island here. Uh, but from here, what we can actually do is just start building. Uh, we can start farming, things like that. The villages that we have are going to give us quick access to uh, carrots, potatoes, things like that, which is going to be great for getting those early game farms. Uh, but then we'll go ahead and start getting, you know, some melon pumpkin farms going to get all that villager trading in. Uh, so how do we want to do this? Because this is our island. It looks like boss went up. Maybe that water stream, uh, that's kind of off the corner. Yeah, I'm not quite too sure how boss got up this way. Uh, but we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll just figure it out ourselves then. 
Uh, we can just nerd pull up right here and call it good. All right, so I've done a few things already. I've got a little bit of potato land here, uh, and you can see I'm just kind of starting. I'm going to kind of terraform this whole place into farmland at some point, so I figured might as well just start working on that now uh, to get these potatoes growing. I've got some wheat growing there, and I also trapped three sheep in here. I uh, just trapped them in boats and drove them right down into here. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll make a wool farm with that. Obviously, it needs some wheat before I can even get to that point. I've also started trapping villagers in their houses. So I've got two in there. I think I've got one in here and one in there. So definitely a good start uh, for getting villagers going. We'll probably use the two in there for a breeder since we've already got two in that house. I will might as well just build the breeder either directly underneath the house or in that area uh, at some point. That way we can start breeding villagers and then we'll use those uh, for all of our trading. To give you guys kind of an idea of what I'm doing for this season, we can go ahead and hop into a creative world and I'll give you guys a brief glimpse of kind of what I'm planning for this season. All right, so this is our island here. This is where uh, we came up from the water. This is kind of what I'm planning. So we're going for kind of a decayed look for this season. Everything is going to be decayed and overgrown. Uh, I started kind of planning out some things here. We're going to do some massive castle walls, things like that. We're going to start off uh, just building some houses in here. That'll be like our starter house we'll do like right here. And we'll get everything built up. We'll get these walls up a bit later on. And just over there is where all of our farms and things are currently. But we'll go ahead. We'll get a starter house built up about right there. And then later throughout the season, we'll get walls and things like that added up as well. The area we've got here is technically beach. Uh, we'll actually dig up all the sand. We can use that for glass, things like that. We're not going to worry too much about that until way later on. But this is the main area that we're going to be building in uh, for at least the first part of the season here. So we're going to kick things off with a starter house. Uh, and I'm not exactly too sure where I want to place this. I'm thinking about right here should work perfectly. What we're going to do is we're going to build just kind of a wooden house similar to even those village houses over there. Uh, but then we'll we'll make it fit the the vibe of that the decayed look that we're going for with the the rest of this world here. All right, so we've done some work on this house. Uh, we just built up kind of a normal normal house. I broke up you know the textures a little bit. Used some uh, stripped birch logs, some glass for some windows, things like that. Actually, I'm going to add another window there. I forgot to put that in, uh, but we'll do that here in a second. Got kind of weird weird kind of roof. Honestly, if it were just the house, I wouldn't be a huge fan of this one. Uh, but because we did this, where we've got the house kind of decaying and then the overgrowth here, I kind of really like the look of this. And I just did kind of a custom tree here. We'll continue to do some like growth around here. Once we get some vines, things like that, we can add on to this a lot. We'll do some more like bushes, things about though. But we're also going to need some more leaves now. We'll go inside here. I haven't really done much of an interior. Just got a couple of furnaces. Chest with some of the stuff. That. And then we'll have a little second floor for some more storage. And then this we can kind of see out of, which looks cool. And you can see where this like decay of the house has, has really taken the biggest toll with that huge chunk out. All right. So kind of a big jump from where we were at before. I wanted to get a lot done. Uh, after we got that starter house built up, so I went ahead and I built up a villager breeder right here. I'm having a little issue, a few issues with it. I think it's just with the path finding to the bed and they haven't started breeding yet. But I'm going to go ahead and get that fixed up and hopefully it should all start working here. Alright, so I think I actually just heard a baby villager just digging my way up here. There we go. Villager breeder is now working. It'll go ahead fall through those trap doors. This is just the logical geek boy villager breeder design. I'll include the link for it in the description below. Obviously I've modified it a little, thrown it underground, uh, but that's about it as far as modifications. They'll come up from that water stream right there and then start piling in uh, to that cave. And then we can go ahead and start bringing them into different farms and our villager trading hall. All right, so that's gonna probably wrap up our episode. We've got our starter house done. We've made it out to our island. We've got our villager breeder done, a uh, small potato and wheat farm, even some carrots growing in the village. 
We're bringing over some more sheep so we can get that all going because we're gonna need a bunch of wool. We got a ton of people online still. This is really gonna be a fun season, especially where once we're able to fly in between the islands and use the nether a bit more. I know a lot of people on the server have already started doing some crazy things. Uh, there's a lot of really big farms going. A lot of the dimensions have been explored. I think the ender dragon has already been killed at this point. So definitely things are getting crazy on this server. And it's going to be a lot of fun once we're all able to fly around, get to these islands really quickly. And it's definitely going to be very interesting seeing everybody's builds this season if you guys haven't checked out uh, the season 2 tour of zetacraft definitely go and do that it was really cool they did some amazing things i unfortunately didn't get to play on it but we are here on season 3 and we're going to make the most of it and do something really really special so definitely stick around for the rest of the season guys check out the world tour for season 2 and check out the second episode that will hopefully be coming out very, very soon. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Uh, good. I wasn't at the house over there, but I didn't see you, so... Oh, yeah, that's that's my house over there, but I've been working in this village for the most part. Nice. Likes, man. <laughs> oh. See you later, sheep. So I... I, I oh, no, 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 it isn't. <laughs> So what if we trade like the sapling for this? The, the, the sapling for the TNT? Yep. All right, I could do that. Cool, cool, cool. I just found this in the jungle temple. Ah. Oh, I'm getting two, three. Ay. Yeah. Got a few Thank extra. You. I made it like my first so, uh, thing to go find some trees to uh get grown around here. Breaking this carrots. Goes I off. sell them at the shopping district. Just so Ooh. you know. Thank you. A little sample. And um, yeah, feel free to visit my uh, starter home. I found a, like a giant jungle tree with a house in it and I'm going to fix it. Oh, nice, nice. Wish I would have find a, found a house myself, but I had to build the what is already wrecked house. Yeah, I definitely did not build my house, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to you wanna come see something kind of creepy down underground? What are you asking me right now? <laughs> Come on, come on. What, what are you going to show me? Oh my god, you got horses. If you ever bring me one, I'll pay you like five diamond blocks for it. They actually both spawned inside of that. I don't know how I got that lucky. <laughs> well, now you know what I, what I said. And if you need more, let me know. Uh, this is pretty, very creepy. Uh, they look a little bit like you. Do you know that? Yeah, this is where I keep my family. <laughs>